Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. So, I'm Lorian, I'm a mum of five, and my house gets extremely messy. So you'll see me trying to sort it out. I did do a video last week of my downstairs, so this is my upstairs, it was terrible. So I have so much stuff was in my bedroom that needs to go to charity or needs to be sold, and it just needs to go, because I keep things like baby clothes, and I'm not planning on having any more children, but I keep them just because I like them and I can't part with them but I need to start parting with them. Also some things on my own, things I've never worn or things that don't fit me. I've got lots of clothes that don't fit me anymore just because I've lost more weight recently. And yeah, they just don't fit. So I don't think they're going to fit. So they need to just go. So there's lots to get rid of. And I was overwhelmed at this point when you see me doing this, I was just feeling like walking downstairs and giving up on it because there's just stuff everywhere. The washing was like extreme too. There was washing everywhere, piles of clothes and the bedroom was a mess. Yeah, but I did manage to get on top of it. So glad I did it now but I honestly just thought I wasn't gonna be able to do it. This weekend, we did go out and get some bedding, which I'll show you, because, yeah, we had no bedding. Basically, our bedding was just got pen and stuff on it with the children drawn on it. Sounds silly, but nothing's ever nice. And they had drawn on it, and it was just too much, and I chucked it away, and I hadn't bought bedding in ages, but we went to Dunham Mill, and we got a lovely floral bed sheet, which was no duvet cover, which was like 34 pounds. We got a mattress topper as well, which was reduced to 19 pounds. And yeah, I'm really happy with it always, just lovely to get into a nice bed at the end of the day, isn't it? So I'm very glad we did it. We currently have Lilac um, sleeping in our bedroom. So she is nine, nearly 10 months old. And she, this is like her chest of drawers, her cot, and then that, um, tool unit came with her furniture and I have just been storing everything on top of it so I'm just going to try and sort my bits out and put some bits where they need to be. I try to figure out who I am Not sure what I'm doing here And the days don't work out the way I thought they would and before you, there was no one who understood Never found somewhere I fit in So I tidied the side and now I'm back again to my bed. Hanging anything up I can hang up, just trying to get everyone's clothes away. I need to go through everyone's clothes as well. Everybody's got too much clothes that they need to be um, sorted out. I mean, some things still fit them, but I just think they've got too much. So the boys' drawers are just full of clothes and I think I need to minimize what they've got because they don't need as much as in there. And it's just a bit harder for them when they're trying to put their clothes away and they've got too much. My charity pile, I need to get that ready. It's all in the back of my car. I know everyone makes a joke saying when you put things in the car for charity, you just drive around for it for weeks. I do plan on getting rid of it on Friday because we go away on Saturday. So it needs to get out of the car because we'll need the space for suitcases. Till I met you I was feeling lost But you're the one who can make it go away All you have to do is look at me Sometimes I, I can't breathe But it feels like you're I have like so many face creams and things like that from um, Curtis bought me a number seven advent calendar for Christmas and um, this year and the year before and I've just got so many like creams and makeup bits I don't really wear makeup I've got like bits and things that I'm uh, sorting out and putting in some pots yeah, I thought they would. and before you there was no one who understood sometimes I
It's not much, but it's all I have. You know if we could run to a place where we belong. But I need you there with me to go on. Sometimes I. And then I'm going to get round to this. Look at this corner. Yeah, it's a lot. The big black rolled up mat is um, a car mat for Rue's birthday. When I was tidying, I found my engagement ring. Um, and I've not been wearing it because the diamond's fallen out of it. And I had the ring and the diamond nice and safe up there. And I bought them downstairs so that I would remember. I put them on my um, alcove units and I put them there so that I could remember to take them out. So I'm going to take them to a jeweler's and get the ring the diamond put back in the ring and the ring resized because it doesn't actually fit me anymore and I didn't get a chance to do it before somebody has knocked the diamond off the edge and it's gone so I think it's long gone I can't see it anywhere it's probably gone in the hoover I'm gutted but there's nothing I can do about it so there's no point in like dwelling on it I lost my ways no words to say And then I have lots of blankets and uh, lots of grow bags under Lilac's cot. Um, I either have too many grow bags or some that don't fit her. And blankets, some are special to me. They've been like made by people or I bought them like that nice one on my lap there. It's just under the green one. Um, I bought that for Lilac when she was born. It's like a lovely floral lilac color and I was just really excited by it and had a matching um, outfit. And I would like to keep that because that just means so much to me. The green blanket is my blanket I had when I was in hospital. Not having a baby, it was when I had sepsis and they let me take a blanket. <laughs> I really liked it and I've not touched it since but I'm keeping it anyway because yeah it just means something to me really. I'm going to just clear out that a little bit. And then I'm back to the bed so I'm sorting out some bits that can go to my brother because he has a little girl um, who was born in December, Christmas day. So I'm sorting out some bits that can go to him and his girlfriend, bits that I might sell. What I'm going to do is like list them for a couple of weeks, if they don't sell I'll get them to charity. I'm cutting down the wires, I'm feeling kind of tired. I think I lost myself, I think I lost it all You know it's true, I've been thinking about you You made me feel so safe right when you told me you were mine But I'm too late, I can't undo my mistakes The time's run out and I'm left standing wet here in the rain the same cloud hanging over my head God, I wish you were here to save me from myself It feels the same The days goes on, but that's okay Why can't you stay? Right here with I said right here with me I'm cutting down the wires I know I'm looking tired I think I lost myself I think I lost it all You know it's true I've been thinking about you You made me feel so safe Right when you told me you were mine But I'm too late
my head I think you stole my soul Shadows creeping everywhere I want you here so badly I can't get you off my head I think you stole my soul Shadows creeping everywhere I want you here You know it's true I've been thinking about you You make me feel so safe Like when you told me you were mine But I'm too late I can't undo my mistakes The times run out And I'm left standing wet here in the rain The same When I knew I was pregnant with Rue, I um, bought this red bugaboo set, which was like, um, oh, what's the print called? I can't think what it's called, but it's like a special edition print, um, like a tartan print, red and black. And somebody had the blanket and they got it made into a foot muff. And I just adored it. And I don't like parting with it. I know it's really silly, but it's like, I don't know, it's just like a nice time for me where I was just like really excited. And um, I had my lovely push chair and the covers and it can just make everything so happy can't it when you just got things you love when you're having a baby um so yeah i really don't know what to do about that i feel like keeping it but there's just nothing i can keep it for um some nice baby bits or things that mean a lot to me i'm trying to keep for the children when they're older i know the girls would probably like some of their bits for their daughters because i've got some bits now that flossie wears that i used to wear when i was little so it's always nice to have things like that too um, and i'm happy with what i've done but i know i can go and do more um, I need to sort out the drawers and I need to go through Lilac's clothes. Everybody's, as I said. You had me at a low. Cause where you go is where I go. I don't need nobody else. I got you, and you got me too. You can ride all the blue. I wanna do what you want to. We can leave and run away someday, someday. So now it's Flossie's bedroom. I was overwhelmed again. Usually they don't get this bad, but my washing had piled up and I hadn't like done her bedroom for a while. Curtis takes her to bed, so I don't often go in her bedroom. So I tried to sort out her drawers a bit, pop everything away. Some of it's not hers, it's like um, outfits for that would actually fit lilac, so I need to get those off, I need to do. I am planning on doing a bigger deep clean. Curtis vaxxed the stairs, so, um, and he cleaned the banisters, he did some painting in the bathroom and hallway and kitchen, so everything just looks a bit fresher. And then I've got a list of things to deep clean, like skirting boards, some dusting, the bathroom, um, the kitchen cabinets, under the sofas, things like that. So I do need a big deep clean. But I'm gonna pop all of Flossie's clothes away. Take you anywhere, somewhere, 
tried to give her bedroom a little bit of a shuffle round. She's got lots of toys, she's got a hanging rail, lots of like dresses and things. And yeah, I think like Christmas and her birthday are really close together and she just ended up with so many toys. So anything that's broken or she doesn't really play with, I'm gonna give it to obviously the broken things I will chuck away. Anything she doesn't really play with, I will give to charity. I'm just sort of put everything in a place. I'm just gonna try and make sure that all her toys are like good working order and shuffle it around because I think it makes the room a bit more interesting, doesn't it? When you've got like, when you just change it up a little bit, she might just wanna come in and play a little bit because it just looks different. Never thought it would be so hard. I grew up without a scar. Just living my life with no big worries. And I've always known what I want Just didn't know what came along Finding myself a much less happy Back in the days I used to dream about one day A life so amazing Not everyone judging me Don't wanna care about them Though it hurts so bad. I always find that I get attached to things like they have I have like reasons why I love them or things I bought them for special occasions or someone bought them and it like means something to me um so I find it difficult but I have to start thinking like you know you can have like 10 special things from somebody but you don't need so many you can if you've just got a special thing from them that could be enough so I'm just trying to do my best to but um her bed now has the side off she's been amazing and um, she climbs out in the morning anyway she stays in a cot in the night but she would just climb out in the morning and come into our bed and we realized there wasn't really any point in the side rail because she can get out and she knows she can get out so Curtis took the side off and it's like a little bed now and she loves it really sweet stay wide open cause if I shut down it just gives them right I wanna stay wide open ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna stay wide And at this point everything have really started to come together um, I just knew I needed to get my charity bits downstairs Give the upstairs a hoover wide open. To hear more today, I'm gonna lock my door and stay inside a way until I'm safe again. I have nothing more to put on, I'm defeated and withdrawn, just trying to understand where it went wrong. So that is everything for my video, everybody. Um, I really hope you enjoyed it. I have actually washed that rug now. I realized it just needed to go in the wash. Um, and every time I hoover upstairs, the hoover is just full. It just gets full so quickly. I'm not sure why, because it doesn't really happen downstairs. Maybe actually because it's carpet upstairs and downstairs it's hard floors. I'm not sure. But anyway, I hope you've all had a really lovely weekend. And hopefully I will see you on my next video, which would usually be a food haul on Tuesday. But it's not this time because we are now in Cornwall. So my next video is, I think it's a Meals of the Week. 
which is on Tuesday. I've got a meals of the week, I've got a recipe video, and I'm hoping to film a bit of a life update sort of video, just parenthood, lilac update, something like that. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've had an amazing weekend and you have a lovely week next week. And hopefully I will see you on my next video. Oh,